uh, appreciating how God is a is an awesome creator. Realize as a medical doctor, I have I have realized even before how how wise uh, God is on how He has uh, designed us. But before I start that, let me do my communion. And then I just discovered something very awesome with regards how the modern uh, academics, especially in, in medicine, how they have integrated the study of um, anatomy and physiology with regards to uh, appreciating God's uh, creation, his design, and it's mind-boggling. Let me start first with my uh, communion, and then uh, I'll discuss the other ones. Father, we believe in your Son, the Lord Jesus. We believe in your amazing love for us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we recognize that we have a covenant with you. This new covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus on the cross at Calvary. Right now, we acknowledge that Jesus bore our sins, our sicknesses, diseases, sorrows, griefs, fears, torments, unforgiveness, strife, and lack for us. Everything on that cross. Yes, Lord. We believe that Jesus' body was broken for us. His precious blood was shed on our behalf. We praise and thank you for Jesus. Glory to your name. Yes. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. Yes. In every cell, in every organ, in every function of our body. Yes. Thanks to Jesus, our youth is renewed. With a long life, you will satisfy us, Father. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we have total and complete redemption. We are totally delivered from the devil in every single way. We are new creations in Christ. Our freedom has been bought and paid for. Yes, we are forgiven. We are redeemed. We are free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. We will eat now. Thank you, Father. After the same manner also, he took the cup, which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. We'll take the cup in our hand and fill it up to you right now. Father, this represents the blood of the new covenant in which all our sins, past, present, and future, are all remitted. They are all forgiven through the blood of Jesus. Praise your holy name. Through his blood, we and our family are redeemed from every curse, every ancestral curse, from every single curse of the law. Thank you. We will drink now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are good, good God. You gave up your son to remove the barrier standing between you and us. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that above all else, you desire that we prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. We declare a new dimension of health, a new level of faith, a new realm of energy and divine strength. We declare that we are living, walking testimonies to all those around us who are defeated in this world. We have victory and new life in Jesus. Oh, that the world would come to know you. Protect, preserve, bless, and reach every single person in our family and our friends. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. My Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I'm playing the... 
music awesome god now as i was i have um said earlier i'm amazed on how the modern academics in medicine have uh, integrated uh, spirituality or biblical integration into the academics especially in anatomy and physiology now i'm just uh, going to go in some aspects of this article of um, elizabeth science how to say it? Uh, no sled an assistant professor in the department of kinesiology and allied health cedarville university ohio and this was published in uh, answers research journal released in 2018 uh, volume 10 pages 141 to 148 he or uh, she she um, started the article with uh, She said, on the abstract, we have been created fearfully and wonderfully by our creator God and the human body showcases God's intricate design. As I have been mentioning before, you know, it's so detailed. Design features are evident in the structures and function of each of the body system. In this paper, I present a design approach to the study of human anatomy and physiology from a biblical worldview. I established a theology of the body as a foundation of the study of the human structure and function. And then she said, I conclude, I conclude the paper with this discussion of ways that a design approach to the study of anatomy and physiology could inspire praise, promote deeper reflection on God, and his creation and encourage a holistic view of stewardship of the body. Now, I will just go to the, basically some of uh, her approach on how it was integrated. Just going down. She says in the um, topic on spiritual applications of a design approach, she says, uh, while studying the design characteristic of human body, my goal as a Christian educator is that students will develop academically, professionally, and spiritually. Biblical integration in the academic disciplines should engage the minds of students as well as their hearts. Study of God's intricate design of the human body can be a catalyst for inspiring praise, promoting deeper 
reflection on God, and encouraging stewardship. So basically, I'm just dealing, going to talk about uh, a gist of these three aspects that she has uh, mentioned. Inspiring praise. She mentioned here that in Psalm 139, David reflected on the omnip omniscient science, omnipresence, and greatness of God in the value on the value God places on every human life. Psalm 139 is a declaration that our Creator is intimately involved in fashioning human life from the moment of fertilization. And that's the moment where the egg and the sperm uh, unite. For your, for, he says, for you form my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. That is in Psalm 139, verse 13. And on Psalm 139, verse 14, it says, The knowledge in David's soul that he was fearfully and wonderfully made, and that God's works were wonderfully inspired him to praise his Creator. David understood that he, create, he was created according to divine design by an intelligent designer. To encourage meditation on the words of Psalm 139 and praise to God for his creation. I invite students to memorize this psalm as an assignment for extra credit during their study of anatomy and physiology. David acknowledged, My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Psalm 139 verse 15. Through advancement in technology, medical professionals and scientists now have a greater understanding of the development of a human being in utero and can clearly visualize what is formerly hidden in secret. Yet within the uterus, the development of a new individual with unique genetic material and the functions of the placenta to promote life and growth are still largely a mystery to the human mind and example of the awe-inspiring work of God. That's according to uh, Gulicia, Gul Gulicia, 2009. So that, you know. The Creator, when David extol in one ter Psalm 139, is also our Redeemer, the one who shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners. Christ died for us in Romans 5 verse 8. Because of the perfect sacrifice of Jesus' broken body on the cross, we have been justified by faith. That's in Romans 5, verse 1. And reconciled to God in Romans 5, verse 10. This news should inspire our greatest praise. And then on the next uh, aspect is promoting deeper reflection on God. So how did she do it? Uh, she asked the students 
reflection paper. So in the study of anatomy and physiology from a design approach is an opportunity to encourage deeper reflection on God and his creation. Towards the end of the term, students are asked to reflect on particular anatomical structures and physiological functions studied in class, which promote, prompted a sense of awe for the creator and his exquisite, deliberate design of the human body. So, they reflect, so in their reflection paper, they should respond to the following question, which I think very brilliant. What attributes of God are displayed through the, the design of this structure and functions? How do these structures and functions promote a greater sense of appreciation for the truth that we are fearfully and wonderfully made? What passages of scripture inspire praise and thanksgiving to God for his design of these structures and function. Reflection can awaken a sense of awe and wonder as we think deeply about our creator God and his magnificent creation. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds? doing wonders that is in exodus 15 verse 11 then he expound she expound on encouraging stewardship so how is that how did she do it she says a steward may be defined as someone entrusted with another's wealth or property and charge with their responsibility of managing it in the owner's best interest. That is uh, from Patterson 1987 article. The Bible teaches that the believer's body is owned by God and is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. That is in John 14 verse 15 to 17. Romans 8 verse 9 and 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 to 17 and 19 to 20. God's ownership makes a steward of our bodies and the Holy Spirit's residence within us gives great significance to our roles as stewards. In our study of human anatomy and physiology, we discuss a holistic view of stewardship of the body that encompasses the following. That is with Allison, 2009, and Matthews, 2010. One, recognizing the value of each individual created in the image and likeness of God, treating all people with dignity and respect and condemning any bias or discrimination against others. And that includes uh, those hate crimes. Being thankful for our God-given gender and celebrating gender differences between men and women. Expressing human sexuality with love and respect in a marriage relationship between a husband and a wife. Standing against the destruction of human life, including abortion and euthanasia. Engaging in physical disciplines, regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and proper rest and avoiding substances that are harmful to the body. Resisting sins that are directly connected to human embodiment, like lust, 
in Matthew 5, 27 to 30, gluttony and drunkenness in Proverbs 23, verse 20, 20 to 21, and sloth, Proverbs uh, 6, verse 6 to 11. Pursuing spiritual, uh, pursuing spiritual maturity, satisfaction of the body, 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. Looking forward to our true and ultimate hope, the resurrection of our bodies. I desire to model a holistic view of stewardship of the body as I teach and mentor students. Likewise, I encourage students, including us, not students anymore, you know, that's an ad lib for me, to practice stewardship and to consider how they can instill principles of stewardship of the body for health and well-being in their interaction with their future patients and clients. So she concluded, uh, Elizabeth Sled uh, concluded, it is an awesome privilege and responsibility to teach anatomy and physiology within the framework of a Christian worldview. Key repeating themes characteristic of all human body systems and examples of over-design the body can be springboards for biblical integration using a design approach. Study of these themes and concepts provides opportunities for critical examining the evidence of God's unique design in contrast to evolutionary origins of the structures and function of the human body. As students investigate anatomy and physiology from a design approach, they will be further equipped to confront the creation evolution controversy and ethical issues of our day. By God's grace and enabling, study of the human body will also inspire praise, promote deeper reflection on God and his creation, and encourage a biblical informed view of stewardship as we ponder the truth that we are fearfully and wonderfully made by his in his image. So she hoped this discussion will spur Christian scholars and teachers to explore further the integration of faith and learning in the discipline of anatomy and physiology. God will be glorified in his magnificent design, principles, and our... Let me see. see these two lights are glaring me. <laughs> God will be glorified as his magnificent design principles are communicated clearly and integrated coherently in the study of the structures and function of the human body. What she has mentioned here is not only true to the human body, it's also true to the whole universe. That we have to be appreciative of God's design on whatever things or profession or specialty we are doing. Because there are lots of sciences and science are, ex are actually exact knowledge. So, even an exact knowledge, it didn't come in random. You know, the physics of the universe, that's why our 
astronauts can go up to the to the um, uh, sky, you know, uh, universe, because they have to study the physics, the 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 detailed exactness of these mathematical equations and discover some uh, process on how to go about this so we could fly up there and discover the moon and other planets and study the atmosphere, the earth. And uh, so it's not only the human body, but In the human body, you could really appreciate how God has designed us. As uh, King David says in Psalm 139, verse 15, he says, My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. So, we really have an awesome God. So if we have an awesome God and he created us, uh, well, then we have to give back. We have to be grat grateful. And if our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, we have to take care of it. If it's a temple of the Holy Spirit, then we have to get them involved in our life. Don't you think so? Because they know our ins and outs, our past and our future. And then the Holy Spirit uh, enlightens us on what's really good for us. But then, because they have given us free choice, then we have to learn to discern, to listen, to be humble, to, to discern his enlightenment. Really, we have a really wonderful God. That's why I was playing this. Let's play. So uh, I thank God for everything. I thank God for being alive. I thank God for all the things he has created. I thank God for my mom and dad. I thank God for my family, 
my husband, my kids, my brothers and sisters. I'm thankful for where I am and for all his uh, blessings. So let's all be thankful to God and be happy because we have to please him since the Holy Spirit is in is he is residing in us, so we have to be a good steward then. Good night and I acknowledge the picture I have in, as a background is from uh, KLRN. Uh, this is uh, Life's Greatest Miracle from the yeah, PBS. And then, uh, so good night. Keep on praising him and thanking him, talking to him. Let's do it. If being happy, if deepening our uh, relationship with God would increase our immune system, would make us healthy. So let's do it. It's free. We just have to put an effort, you know, to praise Him, glorify Him, and do things that will please Him and make happy because He has given us so much. So, good night. God bless us all and trust Him. It's great and good all time. Okay, good night.